the downsides <laughs> to gardening. Yes, I I love gardening. I love it. This is my morning voice, by the way. <laughs> and um, I'm in the garden. I'm watering the plants. We had two solid days of good rain that we really needed. The grass is green again. <laughs> and um, I'm finally, like I, I got a break. I got a couple of days break from watering, you know, getting up at 5, 5.30 in the morning, which I, I like to do, and um, coming out here by 6, 6.30, 7, watering the plants. And it's, it's to me, it's joyful and peaceful. I give thanks and I give praise to Source. I'm connected to Source. And that's how I can appreciate this. Green all around me, birds in all the trees, and fruit, fruit. Crab apples over there, grapes here, <laughs> tomatoes and melons, cantaloupe, watermelon, honeydew, bitter melon, and the, the neighbors, um, the neighbor's peas are coming over the fence to feed me. <laughs> quite a bit, quite a bit of his beans and peas are on our side. The neighbors always share their bounty because their gardens always encroach on our property. Oh, should I say my mother's or my brother's because I lay no claims to this land. This is not mine. I'm just passing through. And I need to say that because you know, some people, they, they have in their mind, they, they think you want what is theirs. I know what is mine. This is not mine. Because if this were mine, it would, it would not be in this condition. It would not be in this state, right? You would maintain it. You know, as, as far as I know, Aries like to, to maintain, right? Unless if they're unevolved, in which case, well, okay. So um, I was going to show it, but I feel so sad. It uh, looks like these, because we've not been around for a couple of days, because when, uh, you know, when it rains, a lot of bugs come out, and I didn't want to get bitten. I, I was getting, It was nice to not get bitten and stung for a change. So I, um, I'm back. It's really nice. Still many bugs, but I'm making the rounds. Ooh, I have new okra. Oh, new okra. So pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. So many melons, but it's my blueberry, right? I spent like over thirty dollars on this one blueberry bush because that's all they had. They had one, and um, I got to eat from it. I was happily, happily picking, picking a couple of blueberries here. But they were so nice, and I'm like, oh man! I, I told my mother that I want to get at least like four, five more. I want to have like six blueberry bushes and possibly more <laughs> why not the more the better right and because they're so good they're nutritious they're so beneficial for my well wellness and um i love them i love the taste they, they kind of mess up your teeth you know there's things like blueberries and cherries and red wine <laughs> guinness gotta watch those things but you know you also have to learn how to use agents that can whiten your teeth as well and do it safely i'm seeing all around me so many tomatoes and yesterday i got some potatoes i grew that as well and so I, i'm happy here and then i come to my blueberry plant bush to to water it and this freaking i don't know who's doing that i think it's the squirrels but they, have, they, they keep digging up to the roots of my, my blueberry bush. So they almost killed it because it had been upright for like two days in this sweltering heat. Uh, I didn't know. I saw it look like it had been dug. And so I didn't want to deal with it. I was so traumatized. I was like, shit, I'm, I'm going to get around to that. Let me do all the other stuff I have to do and I'll get around to that. Well, the next day came and I saw it looking even worse I'm like oh shit let me deal with that you know and so I had to water everything first and I had to get the soil and the manure and the compost and, you know put it together put it back together and I saw the damage 
the roots had been drying out because it had been uprooted. And this, this freaking critter, critters, they're like destroying my, 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 my prized stuff, right? And I'm like, I know I have to live in harmony with them, but fuck. So basically, the moral of the story, if you're, if you're doing gardening in your backyard, in small scale, um, you know, like balconies, or where these little buggers can get to them, you know, raccoons and, and groundhogs and rabbits and ah, lions and tigers and bears, get caging. Cage your shit. Yeah. Put stuff around it. Barbed wire. No, no, not barbed wire. Chicken wire. <gasps> this beautiful black, black bird keeps flying around like, like a show off. Is that my ex? <laughs> Somebody was coming around for, since last summer and returned this summer. It was a black, like a lace looking butterfly. It looked like a butterfly with black lace wings. It was so unique and I'd never seen it before. And it always came around every day when I watered the plants. And um, this is a bit of spirituality, I believe. Um, or witchcraft, I don't know. But it's conjuring, <laughs> you know. But there it was, hocus pocus. And it would arrive every time I was watering. You know, like, you know, like uh, hornets and, and, and flies and bees and such they like to come around when you're watering but this was different this didn't act like the others it always came to particular spots so that i could see it it was displaying itself and its presence was being shown to me and I, known to me and i was like wow i was kind of i felt uneasy but i felt also okay like i thought this is not uh, malevolent i don't believe the energy the energy to me was neutral. I couldn't tell whether it was a good or bad spirit. That was certainly a spirit. But because my granny had recently passed away, I, I thought maybe that's my granny visiting me. And so that's why I was happy to see it. Even if my granny and I didn't part on the best of terms, it always was the love there. But she had this narcissistic personality disorder that I'd had to deal with for a long time, a large part of my life. And that was really tough because she was my primary role model and care giver. And so um, so this, this black lace butterfly kept coming around from last year. I even took pictures of it, posted it online just to be certain, right? Has anybody ever seen such a thing? Because I, I, this, is not, this is not regular. Oh, the peppers are flowering again. It's so nice to have harvest and then harvest and even a third harvest. Love it. So, um, yeah. Well, last week, this black thing showed up again like always. It came, it came every day. I started leaving, leaving it a um, container of clean water because, so that it, you know, it has fresh water. And um, I would speak to it gently. I would say how pretty you are. Hello, beautiful beautiful black lace you're so pretty you're the prettiest thing here and I was speaking to it with love and so everything was fine I kept visiting I was, I was happy to see that told my mom my mom never said anything I don't know I don't know if my mom is a witch I don't know if my mom is practicing black magic and stuff I don't think so but maybe people that she's talking in codes with it's just weird the energies around the people right but I pick up weird energy from my mom and my mom I've seen her give me the evil eye this is weird I think I've seen my brother also give me the evil eye there's that black bird again flying by that black bird is really spectacular it's shiny it's glossy um, feathers wow and it's like it's like one of them really in shape black guys young ones like in there wow look why is it wow these birds are going crazy it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. They say, don't say morning, because who died? Well, my granny that passed away. So yeah, it's a beautiful morning. And if her spirit is coming here in the form of a black winged, uh, black lacy winged butterfly, I welcome it, right? But that day, um, last week, it arrived and everything was, was fine. But then it, it flew right at me. Like at my face, to go in towards my ear, like bugs like to do that when they, 
Like these bugs will just come and take dives like a freaking airplane, kamikaze, fighter, jets. Came like like it was gonna fly into my cheek. And I like dodged and I was like, what the fuck? Don't ever do that. I don't like bugs coming that close. You know, the, the bees are my favorite in the thing. The bees are my favorite because they're coming, they're coming straight for the flower. And the flowers are here in abundance. So pollinators, pollinators. And I love the bees for that. They're big and heavy and they're just sucking, sucking all day and going from flower to flower. And they don't really bother me. And I like that. But the others do, right? Like flies will try to, you know, and, and mosquitoes and all these nasty ones. So when that new black lace thing flew at me in that manner, it, it caused me to feel like it seemed like an attack. Or th Then I thought, maybe it's a message. Maybe it's talking to me. Maybe it's telling me, listen, because it did a buzz by my ear, which it, this has never happened before. A bzz, like a... Like, what was that? Like, butterflies don't buzz. So you maybe you're not a butterfly because you don't look like any butterfly I've ever seen. And then one day also, right before that happened, like earlier, another um, black butterfly showed up. And this one looked like a regular butterfly, but it was really spectacular as well because it, it had some blue flashes. It was flashy, like carnival costume flashy. Whereas my black visitor was more like black lace, so more subdued but still beautiful. And I was like, wait, well, did you bring somebody to show me? Are you two spirits? Are you, are you like family? Are you, are you my ex? Because he does this magic. He does magic. He called me a witch, but he was exposing himself because he's the witch. There's that black thing again. Now it, blew, it flew into the pear tree. It's, it keeps flying around and acting up, kind of like that ex guy would be like, He's very like arrogant and you know, look at me, look at me, I'm, I'm the god and you know, he's one of those types, kind of like a nature boy type. You know, I got so many options, I got a cult. <laughs> so I decided I, I won't deal with that energy, but it keeps trying to like um, attract me because it steals my energy. It steals, what the hell's going on? We got some blackbirds, whoa. Okay, let me go back to... I was talking about the blueberry... This is weird. Like, honestly, this is too weird. But they're flying really fast. I'm going from... What the... What are you? What are you doing? This bird is going cuckoo. It's not making a sound. Ah, oh, look at... Ah, the pear tree right in front of me is just laden with fruit. And the crab apples and these plums and like this is nature and look at the um there's this pollinator I forget I keep sometimes I don't remember the names but it's just this abundance all around me and this guy lives in a in a state of um, a mind of scarcity and lack but he he dreams he fantasizes he wants to live in luxury he doesn't understand that we could have achieved that if he had done what he was supposed to do, which is divinely, um, it was a divine appointment to, with me, and if, it don't have to be romantically, but he was, because these black guys don't know how to behave, they miss many opportunities by f focusing solely on the sex, you know, when they see a woman, they don't see the potential of building something solid with her, whether or not it's romantic, or, or matrimonial, you know, it, it could be a business because, you know, we can all benefit regardless. Everybody needs, you know, um, the money to live in this place, right? Maybe not <laughs> if you are off grid, but, you know, they, it, there's something to be said. These birds are really freaking me out. <laughs> ah, wow. They are distracting me. Those peas are flowering. Oh, look at that. <gasps> these beans, they're so beautiful long green french beans oh whoa hanging over from my jamaica near but what okay this is really weird i don't know how much time what there's another one what are those are those swallows are swallows black i'm thinking swallow because of how graceful 
and I just thought a swallow would be graceful and have a long tail. Um, <laughs> whoa, I'm, ah, I'm too distracted. It's nine o'clock now. I've been talking, I don't know how long, 15 minutes, okay. Um, well, I was saying that when you're gardening, you know, in just in general, you have to protect your crops. You have to get netting and meshing and, and wires and, you know, and chicken wire. You got to do that. So now I got to get a, a, a cage for my blueberry bush so that, that whatever it is digging it up will have to stop doing that. Because I placed at the base of it um, orange peel and I thought that that would deter it. It seemed to have done so for when I first applied it, but the rains were really, really heavy, and which was really useful, helpful, needed, much needed rain, we got it. But it, it also um, washed away the orange peel scent that would deter these critters from digging up my beautiful blueberry bush. So now I have to treat it with TLC and try to recover, revive it. Ah, so sad. But everywhere I look, I'm seeing these vines of uh, melons and the little melons attached to them. Uh, I don't have as many watermelons this year. Usually I have more watermelons, but now I have more cantaloupe and um, honeydew, which is okay because they are very nice as well, so it's all good. I, I have to, f I'm really um, interested in this presence of these blackbirds and the way they're acting, flying around. So uh, I'm curious about that because it's about um, the energy of the spirit and good and bad spirits. Oh, look at that. It just flew right over the pool. It just flew and... Uh, like it, like it really wants to be seen by me. Like the, maybe the, maybe the black lace butterfly turned into a, um, into a black bird. It just, it just reminds me of how my grandmother would be. You know, whenever I saw my grandmother, I've never seen her not look her best. You know, I'm not like that because I'm gardening. I don't feel like I should get up and um, wash my ass. <laughs> to go to the garden. I prefer to go to the garden, sweat, and then wash my ass when I come back because it gets very hot and I'm doing a lot, which, you know, those those beautiful girls, with, like my grandmother with the makeup and the, the nice clothes. My granny never wore makeup, but she always, Gemini, they always dress to the nines. They always, they put themselves together. They are into their appearance, which is good. It's good, but it's a bit superficial so on that, you know, you got to be balanced. You can't be just too vain and conceited, which is the problem why, you know, if my grandmother passed away and she wants to show herself in the garden where I spend a lot of time and she would come as a black butterfly, lace butterfly, because it's different and she was different. And now this bird that's flying around, like, look at it, it's over there now. What's going on? Shaking, shaking its tail feathers. It's weird, but it looks good. It's spectacular considering it's black. Like it, look at that. The, it, the, it's the coat. The, the, it's so glossy. It's so glossy she, sheen. It's a sheen. Like it's beautiful. Blackbird. This, oh man, I love nature. So this, which my granny was like that. She was. She's the one who took me to the garden. So she's the one who took me to the land. Just, this is family land. It can't be bought or sold. It must be handed down from generation to generation. So when I asked about me, you know, getting, you know, some of the land so I could do something on it with my cousin in New York, uh, Granny decided suddenly, land? What land? There is no land. Uh, but then, two years later, she's telling me, oh, you know, I wanted to go to Dominica with your brother to see what, you know, if he wanted to do something with the land. And uh, he didn't want to, he doesn't, he has no interest. He didn't want to be involved. He, he doesn't care. And I said, land? What land? I thought you said there is no land. Hmm. 
Thank you for listening. Please like, share, subscribe, comment or not. It's all good. Everything, all is well that ends well. Yes, all is well in my world. I'm Domina Della Pai, Mistress Sasha Storm. It's a beautiful, beautiful day.